Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into fascinating vulnerability known as client side part traveler or CSPT. While often overlooked, this attack can be just as dangerous as their uh, server side counterpart. We'll be using uh, the CSPT playground by Downsec to demonstrate how this attack works in practice. So yeah, before we begin, uh, let's make sure that we understand or let's start by defining what client side part traverser or CSPT actually is. So let's say for example, we have a website uh, that loads or that manages nodes for uh, its user. So when visiting the website or the specific uh, uh, page, we can see that the node ID, the node uh, itself had been loaded by using the ID parameter and then the note ID and as soon as we load uh, the web page or as soon as we load the uh, visit the web page it fetches the data and automatically make a post request making sure that it also uh, add all the authenticated uh, uh, token, if it is BR token, CSRF token, JWT token, in respect of that, it is adding those token on behalf of us, making the post request or get request automatically and uh, getting the data of that ID or of that uh, node and fetching those data from the server and loading on the uh, client side browser. So this is the primary uh, functionality where CSPT uh, attack can be found so it it would be uh, the id parameter where the attackers or uh, the user has in control over uh, that parameter can be misused to make and make the another post request uh, into uh, into something that attacker wants so that yeah that goes with the id parameter shouldn't uh, be uh, that it's not been uh, validated or uh, it's not been cross verified for the part, uh, part side travels because it does not directly uh, concerned or directly fetch the uh, server side uh, of the file but make a second request and that get that communicate with the server so let's say the attacker has a control over the ID parameter and uh, that ID has been uh, then we can manipulate it adding to like making the id in a way that it goes back to directory and make a call to another endpoint so what will happen the initial get request won't be affected that much because it, it again is the node drive the actual vulnerable page is loading the html css content as it should be and then also the script as well and then the script is using the uh, this particular id well now would be making taking this as an uh, valid code oh, sorry about that and taking this as an valid parameter and making the parameter call uh, the post request on the another endpoint so uh, uh, yeah making sure like it will automatically add all the headers that are required and then get the data uh, or make an action it, that depends on the sync uh, what the action would be taken and that uh, another endpoint would be called so this is how uh, we can actually leverage a CSPT attack so let's say if any any uh, CSRF attack or any XSS attack that can be uh, used we, uh, we can actually leverage it so in essence, CSPT is a vulnerability that allows an attacker to manipulate file part directly within the client side code uh, of an web application. This manipulation can lead to application accessing or revealing files or resourcing uh, resources that it shouldn't. It's all about tricking the client's browser into requesting something it wasn't intended to. So you can see there we go same note it is taking the id and directly retaining uh, returning it uh yeah re returning the uh authentication or making a call, call with the post request for the data in it yeah there you go so there is no validation here as well so this is where the actual uh, uh 
the vulnerability can be fixed by just simply putting on validation here or at the main page it would actually fix uh, the vulnerability uh, let's so that that was uh, that was for you the CSPT attack uh, that we leverage for this and we make an CSRF using the post sync there are other op op options as well would uh, I would recommend you to go through them uh, try to figure out various options uh, Donsag had also released few uh, web uh, white paper of them explaining all this uh, different options would recommend you to going through uh, going through all those uh, options as well uh, you can find the web page uh, white paper on the github link itself so let me see SPT playground So they had also shared their blogs, their explanation of uh, how they actually find this vulnerability and the white paper. It's not being, yeah, not loading right now, but you can take a reference of this and try to understand the vulnerability in, uh, in more depth and try to exploit the different as part of it. So covering this uh, attack vector it it was very straightforward when we uh, when did we figure it out but uh, the attacker is sending and get re get url sharing with the attached payload that we did uh, the admin is then clicking on that uh, url making the auto post sync uh, communicating with the uh, our payload and then the post request is make where where it is in itself the CSRF uh, did execute and promote the member to an admin like making an call to uh, the backend server so this is where the CSRF execution uh, actually happened so any protection that has been set here or uh, any uh, uh, user the cookie based uh, protection won't be worked it would directly be bypassed so let's talk about the remediation part so CSRF token and same site cookies are inefficient against CSPT. Uh, those won't be enough. We had to have multiple uh, layer approach for this remediation. So backend enforcing strict JSON schema validation to limit compatibility, uh, compatible sync and reduce attack impact. As already we uh, seen, not all the sync or not all the functions uh, won't be uh, would be compatible uh, to the sync. So at CSPT to actually we will would be able to uh, leverage only if we have a good sync that does not care about the uh, body attached to it and uh, the pa parameter uh, attached to it so those sort of uh, sanitization we can put to make sure that backend uh, backend server does uh, is it it is sensitive towards those additional uh, things and it not only just ignore those but uh, actually yells an error to make sure that it is not being misused by any attack vector and in front end we can uh, the sanitize uh, sanitize user input against path parameter attack especially where used uh, used a path parameter so any sort of uh, path if it is in front end or back end there should be an uh, input sanitization especially for the path parameter and different sort of attack vectors as well uh, that would actually help to uh, minimize the uh, other reduce the CSPT impact addressing the lack of built-in sanitization in popular API client library uh, for example open API generator so in the research uh, paper that we talked about earlier uh, Don Sack and team were able to also identify similar kind of vulnerability in different uh, client libraries uh, uh, those are openly used by all the different uh, developers. One example has been shared here, and though and in their web paper they have shared the different examples as well. So, realizing that they are not being the function that are being used is not properly sanitized. So, anytime we use those functions, there should be a sanitized addressed by the developer that are using it. So, realizing that there is a lack of building sanitization in the client library in the open source cli uh, client library 
and of course education developer uh, in uh, uh, educating developer about insecure patterns not all the functions agreements uh, arguments are safe for uh, unsanitized use we before using the function directly there should be a few tests uh, i would recommend and if not then educating the developer to uh, make uh, to have a best uh, best security practice to sanitize any sort of input so yeah that that wraps us all uh, our look that wraps uh, our look of oh, at client side part travel zero attack as you can see even though they happen on client side this vulnerability can still have serious consequences uh, remember robust server side validation is very critical in this case and uh, yes thanks for watching